Hello, hello, happy Sunday. Um, I'm so excited, look what just arrived. I don't know how or why I got a Sunday delivery, but I did, um, I'm so excited. This is the Glossy Box Limited Edition, now sold out, I'm really sorry, Easter egg. And um, let me just check the price. It was 25 pounds for subscribers, 30 pounds for non-subscribers, and worth over 75 pounds. So today, my friends, we're gonna unbox this bad boy, and I'm so excited. Um, also, am I, is that better? I think it's better. Okay, let's dive in. Oh, first of all, I've never had the Glossy Box Easter eggs before, so I'm really excited. Second of all, I'm kind of loving the eggness. It's really fun. Um, oh, 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 I used the ribbon to pull the top off and it didn't work. Oops, okay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it'll all get better from here on in. Okay, um, well, what should I go for? Um, okay, I'm gonna pick out this and then we're gonna go and just open it all up. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna open is the Patrology Mood Patch Downtime Calming Tea Infused Aromatherapy Eye Gels. I have had a lot of Patrology recently. I'm not sure why. <laughs> they seem to be doing the rounds in all the beauty boxes, but quite frankly, I'm kind of here for it. So it's a nice little start. It's not something I'm gonna get majorly excited about, but like I always, always, always need some, need a little help with my eye area because I get very dark circles. But yeah, these are the Downtime Patchology Eye Patches. Obviously just a one-time use, but still a nice little thing and a good little start. What should we go for next? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go for this. This is a Barry M Candy Culture Nail Pen. I have not used a Barry M nail polish in the longest time. Apparently it's scented with raspberry sherbet. That's weird. <laughs> But kind of cool. Um, it's a really pretty color. Um, I definitely need to paint my nails soon. My nails are an absolute mess. Please don't look at them. Ooh. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really pretty shade. Possibly too pale for me. I might, I might say if this is something special. Um, I don't know if you saw one of my previous videos, but I did a beauty box reboxing for um, an NHS key worker, and I'm hoping to do a couple more. So I might save this for that, just because I know it's a colour that I'm not going to use, but I think it's a really fun little gift for somebody to unwrap, yeah, in the next week or two. So look out for that video, because I think it, I think it'll be nice. I've got somebody picked out already. <laughs> um, the next thing is a Saint Tropez Self Tan. This is the, um, this has got a lot of hype actually. People are loving this. It's a bronzing mist self tan spray on -y thingy thingy mabob. Um, actually, do you know what? I might put this in a reboxing as well, just because <laughs> I don't get on well with tan. Like, I I go from zero to orange really quick. Um, and I, I don't really know, I don't think my face works tanned. So I'm always a little bit nervous about <laughs> self tan on the face. So I'll probably put this in one of my key worker boxes as well. But I, th I think somebody else will really, really, really enjoy this. And like I said, it's got a lot of hype. People are going wild for this product. So I will look forward to sharing this, but I don't think it's something I'm gonna use myself. This next product though, this is what I'm here for. Ila Masqua Lipstick. Now I'm not even sure what shade this is. Oh, I'm dropping things. Ooh. I'm dropping more things. Oh my God, I'm so clumsy today. Okay, the contents of the egg ended up on the floor and I was trying to pick everything up but not look at everything. Okay. <laughs> so the Ilma Square lipstick. Oh, 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 this is good. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That is a really nice shade. I mean, that color packs a punch. It's a really pretty kind of like pinky ready but also also not too ready. I really like that. I also really like Ila Masqua makeup. I think it's beautiful. They've really gone off the radar recently and I'm hoping for a little bit of resurgence because they had some really great products and I always am like really here for them. They have an incredible highlighter as well. If you've never tried it, I would highly recommend, but their lipsticks are lovely and they're really, really good. 
and they're really great quality and I really like this shade it's called Meteor Ooh. next product Q&A daily moisturizer oh cool uh, ginger root and uh, this is antioxidant which helps calm skin definitely need that um, apply morning and night as required cool and it is for dry sensitive normal combination skin and it's anti-aging anti-inflammatory skin firmness and hydration so that sounds perfect also it's a really nice full-size product so that is that's great i needed some new moisturizer so i'm super excited about that and if you can use it morning and night it sounds like it's going to be quite rich and i need that the one i'm using at the moment it's fine for the day it's not so fine for the night just saying i have really dry skin oh all this might be for the for the thingy my bob <laughs> sorry i'm not making any sense this is a saint tropez dual sided velvet luxe applicator mix so i don't know if you use this with the face mist i wonder i wonder if you use these two together that would kind of make sense actually okay so i'll make sure when i when i do the reboxing i put this mitt in with the with the spritz um but that's the next item next we have oh cool this is first aid beauty uh we've been seeing a lot of first aid beauty in different beauty boxes and i really like their products i think they're really good so this is a facial radiance polish uh, which will help exfoliate brighten and purify this is um a 28 gram tube and yeah it's just a really nice face scrub it's also fragrance free and hypoallergenic and yeah i just really like their products i haven't used the face scrub before but everything else I've used by them, I really like. So I will look forward to this. And it's a nice, generous size as well. Ooh, hello, Glam Glow. This is nice. This is the Glam Glow Insta Mud. This is 60 second pore refining treatment. Um, it is a seven mil tube. And yeah, just put a generous layer onto clean, dry skin and let it sit and the mask will transform into bubbles oh it's a bubble mask oh cool do you know what i might put this in my reboxing too because a 60 second mask is probably the kind of self-care but speedy self-care that um a key worker might want right now so i might put this in one of my boxes i think that would really brighten some dude's day so i mean glam glow is like so good I love Glam Go. I would like it myself, but I feel like, I feel like it'd be a nice one to pass on. Oh, cool. I don't know what this is, but it's Minimo. Minimo? And it's Candy Edible Lip Scrub. Treat your lips to a perfect luscious pout. And it's 100% edible. I don't know if this is genius or weird. Like, do you eat your dead skin cells? Or do you like scrub, wash, and then like, have a nibble? That's so weird. But you know what, I need a lip scrub. I was thinking recently that I need a lip scrub and it's the kind of thing I never normally buy myself. I'm gonna get in there for a sniff. Apparently it's raspberry. Maybe it's one of those things where like, if you accidentally like lick your lips or get it in your mouth, it's not gonna like be toxic. That smells really good. Oh yes, I'm gonna give myself a lip scrub later. It's been a while. <laughs> And I, I feel like uh, I feel like I need to. You know when you just get that feeling like dead skin cells need to be removed? I've got that feeling. Okay, last item. And I have to say, it's a real good one. This is one of my favorite things in the Easter egg. I may have spotted this or when I dropped the contents on the floor. Um, but this is the Bare Minerals Lashtopia Mega Volume Mineral Based Mascara. Great mascara. As you know, I love, love, love 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 a travel size mascara because i never get to the end of a full size mascara i just find it i find it kind of wasteful like i try to throw them away every three months like you're meant to and i find there's just a little bit too much product per mascara like per full size mascara that i need so i personally i am all about the travel size mascaras i think you kind of get about three months use out of them which for me is perfect because then I can actually throw them away when they're used up as opposed to throw them away when they're half used up but it's kind of been three months. So for me, I am all about the travel size and this is, 
I think it's travel size anyway. Actually, it looks quite big. No, I think, I think it's travel size because it's not huge. I think it's just like a deluxe travel size. It is, I think it said it was seven, 6.5 millilitres. So yeah, Lashtopia, a great mascara by Bare Minerals. And obviously because it's Bare Minerals, it's like, I think it's just good if you've got sensitive eyes, which I actually do. I'm not a huge fan of mascara, especially wearing excessive amounts of mascara because I do find it kind of can irritate after a while, especially if I wear lashings and lashings of it, which is probably why my mascaras last me longer than other people. But yeah, Lashtopia, a really, really, really great mascara. It's also quite expensive, full price. So it's a real, it's a real bang for your buck product. So that is the Glossy Box Easter Egg. Um, what am I most excited about? I'm most excited about the Lashtopia, for sure. Um, I'm super excited about the Le Masqua lipstick. That's wonderful. And I'm actually really excited about the Q&A moisturizer. I've never tried Q&A. I'm really into the packaging though. And I personally just really need a new moisturizer. So yeah, they're really good. Oh, I'm quite excited about the lip scrub too. A little bit creeped out that you can eat it. But you know, we're in lockdown. If I get really hungry at least, at least I know I've got something left in the cupboards. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try and pick out a few of these items to put into my key worker boxes, which I will be filming another one, I think super soon. I've got a couple of people who are on my Twitter who are key workers, so I'm gonna try and box some really lovely things up, get them posted and just give people a little joy because um, it's a really tough time. And if you're a key worker, it must be even tougher. So um, yeah, hopefully it will bring a little bit of joy into a couple of people's lives. I did film one a couple of days ago. Um, if you wanna watch it, it's in my videos. Um, but if not, no worries, <laughs> you don't have to. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Have a lovely afternoon. Goodbye. <laughs>